Whenever you are in contest prep and you are getting ready for a show, your diet is very specific down to the grams or the ounces or whatever you weigh in for all six of your meals. Your cardio plan is down to the minute and the speed at everything that you should be doing and maybe even has a recommended heart rate zone. All of your supplements, everything is metered down to the milligram. Why in God's gentle green earth would you walk in the gym and not know exactly what you were going to do that day, exactly what you did last time, and what you need to do to beat it, and if you didn't beat it, why you didn't beat it, and if you did, why you did beat it. Hunter Labrada here with another uh, pro tip. This week I wanted to talk to you about something that is very near and dear to my heart, and that is a logbook. I know that doesn't sound very glamorous or that exciting, but hopefully by the end of this video you will understand why it is literally one of the most important things that you can do and why it's low hanging fruit for a lot of people. Not a lot of people do it or at least do it to the degree that they should. You know, before we talk about log, but this is, you know, my current one I wanted to show you. I was kind of, you know, getting cool at this point. This one's got Chicago, the 2021 Olympia, 2021 health phase. It's got my 2022 off season. It's got the uh, pre-Olympia, you know, phase. And then most recently it has my, uh, somewhere in here, 2022 Olympia prep. But anyways, um, what I'm getting at is the logbook, whether you're in the off season or in contest prep is such an important tool for gauging performance, gauging progress, and gauging fatigue. Um, and then it also gives you the ability to make an actual numerical reduction or addition to your training volume. Same thing goes for Yankin off season. You know, the biggest difference for bodybuilders whenever they're in an off season, whenever they're really making progress versus when they're not is, I'm in the off season. Well, what's your meal plan like? Oh, I'm just eating a lot six times a day. Okay, well, are you stalled out? Yeah, well, where do you go from there? You're not weighing any of your food. How do you do anything? The biggest progress that that kid's gonna make is in the off season when he's treating it like prep and has weighed every single meal out. Same thing goes with the training. If you are logging every single set of every single session and you can look back three, four, five, six sessions in the off season and see the weights trending up, you know that you're in a caloric surplus, you know that you're getting stronger, you know that you're progressing all your lifts. There's no reason to go back to the drawing board. There's every reason in the world to just put your head down and fucking work and continue to do it. If you can look back, you know, four or five sessions and you see you've been continually performance trending down, that gives you the ability to be like, okay, what the hell is going on? Am I not sleeping? Is this exercise selection poor? Have I been doing these exercises for the last eight months and I've just ran out of runway? It gives you the ability to truly assess what's going on with your training. Um, and then once you enter a prep scenario, it gives you the ability to do the same things that you do with your diet. Week to week, I might want to make a 10 to 15% reduction in my carbohydrate intake. Guess what? As prep goes on, week to week, I might want to make a 10 to 15% reduction in my volume when I'm training. If I don't have every single set of every single training session for the last couple of weeks written out, I have no clue what that is. I'm just kind of throwing shit on the wall and hoping it sticks. So that is why I feel so strongly about a logbook. Um, you know, at the end of the day, regardless of whether you're a high, high intensity, low volume, you know, progressive overload guy like I am. Come on! Yeah. Run! Come on, Hunter! Oh. Hunter, shit, this is for the sand now! Come on! Yeah. Or a high volume guy. What the fuck? <laughs> you have to be able to record and recollect what you do. That's at the end of the day, it's an incredibly valuable training tool. So, that was an incredibly long-winded way of saying you should be logging all your training sessions so that you can make more educated decisions about what you're doing. Hope you all enjoyed this week's tip. See you all next week.